Hey guys, my name's Joe Green and today marks the one year anniversary since I decided to stop drinking. Now, the reason that I decided to stop drinking was because I was doing an MBA, a master's at university and I just needed to change the way that I was thinking about writing the dissertation. My task was to write a 15,000 word essay or a dissertation and I, I didn't know there were that many words <laughs> and I kept thinking oh I'll start it tomorrow and I'll do a big batch and I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off and then I realised you know what I need to get serious so I need to just do a certain amount of words every single day break that massive task down into something more manageable and when I did break it down I realised that it started to actually work. 250 words a day, 300 words a day. And I was getting there step by step. Now, at the same time, I decided that I was going to quit alcohol. I decided I was going to quit um, coffee, tea. And it was a massive thing for me. I was drinking, you know, five or six, three or four cups of coffee every single day. Always have a coffee in my hand. And I didn't really know how to socialise and how to be with other people without drinking. So many of my friends I'd never actually not drank with. Every time I'd seen them, we'd always have a drink because it was just ingrained in the culture, ingrained in the friendships that I had. And one of the hardest things for me was to essentially go and be in those friendships and take away the drink element. Now, I was lucky, I think, because I was able to stop that other people could carry on drinking around me and it wasn't an issue because you know my friends were very supportive of the fact that I wanted to stop drinking and it wasn't an issue like I say I wasn't stopping anybody else from drinking but there's I suppose three things that I'd like to point out that I learned about myself is number one I don't need alcohol to have a good time. I don't need alcohol to have fun. I don't need alcohol to dance. I don't need alcohol to, you know, talk to people or make new friends. I thought alcohol helped me. But I think it actually, you know, helps in some areas, but takes away in the other areas. And I think the areas that it takes away in really could and did used to detract from, you know, the positive sides of, you know, my personality, who I am, and, you know, the kind of image that I want people to think about me after, you know, interactions. Now, when I started this, I had no idea that I was going to carry it on for so long. You know, at first it was just till Christmas. Then it was, oh, a little bit further. Then it was like, wow, I've gone six months. And... I suppose it really helped me learn about myself. It helped me learn that, number one, I don't really need anything to function. You know, I'm good. I thought I needed coffee. I don't need coffee. I thought I needed alcohol in certain situations. I don't need alcohol. And it was almost like a crutch to me. One of the hardest things that I had to go through, actually, was talking to the people and the loved ones in my life and telling them because the funniest thing is you know the people that are the closest to you you know family they struggled with it the most I'd say oh I'm going to quit and they would take it almost as a judgment on them and they would say no you don't need to quit completely just quit a little bit or just don't and I'm like whoa I'm just telling you what I'm doing you know what I mean it's not a, a vote we're not doing like a you know a referendum here I'm just informing you that this is my choice. Now, I will share one incident that almost stopped me from doing this video actually today. But I look at it in a different way now and I'll explain a bit more about that. But essentially, I was kind of tricked into having a drink of a, something that I thought was ginger ale or ginger beer. And I thought, and I explicitly checked, you know, before I had it, that it didn't have any alcohol in it. After I had a sip, I was basically informed it did have alcohol in it. And I was honestly, at first, for a couple of days, I was really annoyed. I was really angry because I thought somebody had stolen my one year anniversary. And for anyone that knew me before, for anyone that knows you know, how much alcohol is ingrained in the northern culture, 
northern working class culture, and you know that's my culture. It was a massive deal for me, and honestly, I was absolutely livid. But in every failure, or in every painful lesson, there is a seed of something that can grow out of it. And what that essentially helped me do was to realise that the six, the seed within that really annoying, it was only one sip, so I'm still doing this video because I realised I did decide to stop drinking a year ago. I have stopped drinking and it was only because somebody essentially tricked me into having a sip that I didn't go a whole year without drinking any alcohol, but I still haven't actively drank alcohol. I had one sip, really annoying, but it's only annoying if you allow it to be. And the success that I'm gonna take out of that is you need to watch the people that you have around you. And the people that you have around you need to be on the same page. They need to be pulling in your direction. You can't have someone that wants you to drink alcohol and you don't want to drink alcohol. You can't have someone that wants to be like a slob and you want to be really organized. You can't have someone that is not aligned with your goals, not going in the same direction. Because although you might have friends and family that you love, it's fine to love them, but just don't have them as close to you if they are not on the same page. Because it's hard enough to get where you're going. It's impossible, or almost impossible, to get where you're going while you're carrying other people or while they're dragging you back. There's an analogy of essentially a fisherman who's catching crabs, putting them in the bucket, then all of a sudden a guy walks up and says, hey, your crabs are about to crawl out of the bucket. And the fisherman says, no, it's okay, I don't need to worry about that. And the guy watches the bucket, and then all of a sudden the crab that's just about to get out of the top gets dragged back in by all the other crabs. And that's something that hit me hard because it made me realize, shit, we need to be careful of the people that we're spending time with, but also to make sure that the people that we're spending time with are aligned and going on the same journey in the same direction because you can't be going in two separate directions at the same time. You need to be walking together, not apart and if people are walking apart let them go <laughs> so yeah so essentially it's been one year today it's the 24th 23rd of september 2023 and that also puts a lot of things into perspective for me as well it helps me realize that number one this time last year i haven't written my dissertation i did that with consistency number two it shows that i haven't really started working out yet in the gym and I've started that with consistency. I'm getting there. I'm getting a bigger chest. I'm getting fitter. I'm getting more aligned with the person that I can be. And the, you know, the, the, the peak version of myself. And, and I'm really proud of that. So I wanted to make this video to essentially celebrate one year of not drinking. Or one year of deciding not to drink. That's the way that I have to phrase it now. Because I technically did have a sip although it wasn't intentional, but I do take responsibility for it. And the way that responsibility comes into that is I have to say, even though I didn't know that it was an alcoholic drink, I still took it and sipped it. Ultimate responsibility is taking the rough with the smooth, and that's what I do for myself and my life at the moment. So, guys, I want to say thank you so much. I suppose when I started not drinking, I hadn't even restarted my YouTube channel. Now I've started restart now I've restarted my YouTube channel. We've got over a thousand, one thousand two hundred subscribers, which is I'm so grateful for. And the next step, one more step, and then we get this channel monetized. And that is essentially going, at least partially, some way, to getting an extra revenue stream for me, which is taking me away from what I thought I had to do to earn money, which is, you know, go to work, get a job sit there in the money i'm not saying that i never will because you know i really like sales and you know i think i'm good at it but it gives me another avenue so that's the goal for the channel the goal for myself is to just continue to be the best version of myself if it adds 
great. If it doesn't add, remove it. So I wanted to say, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share. If you want to hit that subscribe button, that'd be so great. And um, I really appreciate you guys. One year of not drinking. Great to, great to have you and great to share this with you. Thanks, guys. Catch you in a bit.